Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, October 7th. It's Friday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. It's also the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary, and it's day 28 of Be Formed. We are here at the Olive Tree Hotel in Jerusalem. My suitcase arrived. Hopefully you see the other video of the arrival of my suitcase. It was uh, quite the experience. And, uh, but I'd like to focus on the rosary today. Uh, St. John Paul II wrote an epistolic letter on the rosary and he focused on three things. And I remember before I became Catholic, one of my big concerns was, you know, gosh, am I going to put Mary too high? Is Mary going to be a goddess? The church does not treat Mary as a goddess. The church honors Mary as the mother of Jesus, as the mother of God, because he is God. Um, and we believe that Mary is the perfect example of discipleship and she's constantly interceding for us from heaven. Um, so in this apostolic letter, he talks about three S's, if you can remember that. The first S are the senses. So when we pray the rosary, we should have an image of you know, what we're meditating on. So one of the beautiful things about being here in what they call the land of the fifth gospel, we are visiting almost every one of the 20 mysteries of the rosary. There's a couple that we are not gonna cover, but even if we don't have a beautiful image of the, the mystery that we're meditating upon, we can have a memory of, oh, like for example, yesterday, we went to uh, the Jordan River to renew our baptismal promises. And so now I have this image of the Jordan River and the first luminous mystery is Jesus' baptism in the Jordan. So to have an image, either in our minds or an image to med meditate upon, in the rosary we're also using our voice and our ears. We're speaking out loud and we're hearing, you know, if we're praying with other people. Um, and uh, so we're, we're engaging our senses. This is important that when we pray, it's not just rote memory, just kind of reciting words, but it's engage, engaging our whole person, the theology of the body. The second S is the use of scripture. So he says, St. John Paul II says, it's important when we pray the rosary to meditate on uh, a scripture passage that highlights that mystery of the rosary. So if, the rosary ultimately is about Christ. It's very Christocentric. Yes, it's, there's a, the Hail Mary is a prayer to Mary, praying for her, her intercession. Mary is always pointing us to Jesus. So use your senses, use the scripture for each of the uh, meditations, each of the mysteries. And then the third S is silent. You know, this is something that is so uh, seldom used in our culture, uh, not just praying the rosary, but silence in general. Um, it's something that's very important in the liturgy as well, that we're encouraged like after the reading of scripture, after the reading, uh, after the homily is given, uh, after receiving communion, that there are times that we we spend in silence meditating upon what we've just heard or who we just received. The same in, in, in praying the rosary, we should spend some time in, in silence in order to meditate on that mystery of the rosary that we're praying about. Again, the rosary is meant to lead us into the mystery of Christ. I've heard of people who, who weren't Catholic, started praying the rosary, and it led them to joining the church because it, it's all about Mary kind of holding our hand and bringing us to meet her son, Jesus. So on this memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary, I encourage you not only to pray the rosary, but use those three S's. Use your senses, get an image, your hearing, your speaking, use scripture, and use silence. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the gift of our Blessed Mother and the gift of the Rosary. May it be a, a tool that we use in prayer to lead us closer to your Son Jesus as we meditate upon his mysteries, the mysteries of his life, death, and resurrection. Mother Mary, intercede for us. Thank you for being a, a great example for uh, discipleship. Help us to follow your fiat in surrendering our lives to follow your Son, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And yes, to you and to your family from Jerusalem, we wish you a buen camino.